Chris Chinock here for the 8K Monitor. I'm here in the Samsung booth in this CES 2022. Uh, we are looking at one of their 8K TVs, the QLED, uh, Neo QLED. And uh, the Samsung has not announced any specific models for 2022 yet. Uh, what they like to talk about are technology features uh, and about the, uh, how those will roll out in terms of certain models and series will be kind of announced more in the, the March, April time frame. So one of the things that they're talking about particularly is, uh, is enhanced light control uh, in their backlights. So for all of the mini LED products, 4K and 8K, uh, those are now going from 10-bit uh, control of the mini LEDs to 14-bit control. So what that means is basically four times more uh, level control for the backlight, uh, which means finer gradations of the light, uh, which means less ballooning potentially, or at least regard to control. Uh, but they've also done something uh, different. Uh, so because they have uh, many more LEDs, mini LEDs than zones, what you get is the ability to control the light output of, of those zones uh, by modulating the light from each LED. So for example, before you could just do kind of a, a conical output of the, uh, of the LED for a zone. Now you can shape the zone based on what the, the content demands. And that's basically by being able to modulate a, a cluster of LEDs instead of just a, a group of LEDs. So you can modulate those LEDs individually within the zone, which is a pretty cool uh, uh, innovation. And they, they've showed some demos in their innovation room where, yes, there's more detail in some of the darks areas. There's less blooming between high contrast images. So all that's very good. The brightness is a little bit better. It's actually about the same as, as the 2021 models. Samsung also showed uh, an interesting uh, calibration application for their new line of, of projectors. It's called EasyCal, and it's designed to be able to change uh, the, basically the, the color processing in the projector and you project it on a wall that has a different color other than white. So the idea is to use your phone to take a picture of a, of a QR code when it's displayed on the projector and the phone will automatically process that and output uh, some new calibration uh, codes to the projector to make it match what it would look like on a white wall. So that's, uh, that's pretty clever. And they haven't really talked about it too much, but that's also going to be coming to their 2022 uh, TVs, 4K and, and 8K models. Hopefully professional level calibration using your phone. Pretty cool. Uh, that's most of the stuff from Samsung. Uh, Chris Chinnick for the 8K monitor.